Hey, this is Mountain Ghost 556 here to do a short video on the Covia LPG adapter. Now, before we get started, I take no responsibility if you buy one of these and you wind up destroying yourself or your property or doing some kind of damage with it. So I take no responsibility. This is a video just to let you know that this product is out there and that from my standpoint, my usage is it does work. Okay, with that being said, uh, me and my buddy, we've been trying to find a way to hook up Coleman propane canisters to hiking and backpacking stoves such as the MSR Pocket Rocket or Jet Boil. And as, my, as we, we go into Walmart, we see these things. They're plentiful. They're, they're cheap. They're inexpensive for the, you know, at the cost of buying one of these, which is a traditional, is, is a hiking backpacking fuel canister, uh, you can buy two of those for almost the price of one of these. So it's cost effective. There are drawbacks. This it takes up a lot of room and it's heavy versus this one, hardly any room whatsoever. As you can see, the size differential is quite different and it weighs, it, it, it weighs, it weighs a lot less. The purpose behind it is, is to give a lightweight hiking and backpacking stove for uh, from anybody from a minimalist to a mid-range, you know, hiker and back backpacker. So that's its intended purpose. This is this propane cylinder is not intended for hiking and backpacking and carrying and in, into the woods, you know, on foot. This is a basically for two burner propane st stove, camping stoves, and uh, I've seen you know lanterns and stuff like that. So. And the, let, get that straight. This is not going to be carried. So before anybody says, well, that's going to take up a lot of space in my bug out bag. Well, well then you apparently don't understand what this is about. This is for a, a vehicle, a home, or a boat in an emergency situation, or a supplement to this if you run out of them. Okay? I'm not saying put this in your bug out bag or your backpack. I'm just saying that this is an alternative fuel source and means of uh, storing fuel other than one of these hiking and backpacking uh, fuel cylinders for one of these. Um, so the LPG adapter, it's pretty solid construction. It's heavy. Like I said, you combine these two, and if that's what you're going to use for your cooking, you just exponentially raise the weight of your cooking. You've what, got a titanium cook pot, and then you've got these. You just totally just, it's not going to work. So... It's made solid. It's got some weight to it. Um, as you can see, I don't know if you can see that. This doesn't want to show it, but the uh, it's written in Korean. The instructions, everything's written in Korean. Uh, this is the, a regulator valve for it, for to regulate the pressure going in and out of this uh, reg, uh, adapter. Uh, I don't need to be able to read. Korean when I understand what plus and minus is and I don't even mess with the uh, regulator right here I don't I don't I don't mess with it it just I use the source regulator on my MSR pocket rocket and that does just fine for me uh, another thing to note as you probably guessed those instructions were in Korean as are these but they have nice little pictures that kind of tell you what you need to do and what you don't need to do and shows you how to hook things, you know, hook up the different types of stuff to lanterns and things like that. Uh, the only thing I wish I did know how to read Korean is the warning symbol. I'd love to know what they say, but I'm pretty sure it says don't blow yourself up or do anything stupid with it. So uh, common sense is kind of a universal language to some people. Okay, with that being said, uh, the LGB adapter... I also went to a YouTube channel called Dr. Cool It, or D-R-C-O-O-L It. And he had some really in-depth uh, review on this with a different type of stove, a liquid white gas type stove. And it was really good, and if you really want to check it out, I would suggest doing that to get more familiar with this particular device because the more you know about it, the less you're going to wind up doing some kind of damage to you, to yourself or to somebody's property. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this and make it work as an adapter. But first, before I do that, I want to show you why you need the adapter in the first place. And some of you already know this that are experienced hikers and backpackers or just regular campers. 
these two areas do not join. They don't play. They don't like the same playground. They don't share toys. So you basically are not going to get anything out of it. That's designed, this particular uh, point right here is designed to interface with that, as you can see. Now what happens is, when you get this adapter, you can see basically they have the same type of interface with the this adapter. So, that being said, I don't know if you got that all too clearly or not, but I'm going to go ahead and put it on here. And as you notice, there's no gas discharge. Now, I'm going to talk to you about that here in a second <clears throat> because it's pretty important to understand. There's one basic principle with this thing that uh, Dr. Coolit on his uh, YouTube channel he mentioned, which I feel the ne I feel it necessary to mention it also because it's pretty important. Um, that when this this adapter is joined onto the cylinder, as you know, it pressurizes up and through there. Once this is uh, relieved from the cylinder and taken off, there's still pressure with inside this adapter. And once you take this off, you'll get a, a small little uh, fuel discharge or gas discharge. And you want to make sure you're away from any kind of ignition source. That's common sense, but like I said, that's not universal. Well, it is to some people, but others not. And then when you take this off, and this has been taken off, uh, this still has it. So what you do is you'll just purge it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull some gas. There we go. Tighten down a little bit more. So you can tell it works. Okay. So it works. Yeah, you just got to kind of tighten it down a little bit more. I didn't tighten it down too, too high because I got to take it off with one hand later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys that this ignites. Okay. Now, if you've never heard a pocket rocket before, you'll understand why here in just a second, why they call it a pocket rocket. Because I'm going to send this thing into full shuttle mode. And there you go. MSR pocket rocket for you. You're not, it's not a Bambi moment. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off now. Like I said, I didn't want to tighten it down too hard because I got to do it one-handed. That's why I didn't get the gas flow into it. But you're going to hear a small little discharge of fuel. Not a lot. First time you do it, it's going to be like, oh, there. Well, that wasn't so bad after all. Okay, what we're going to do now, we're going to purge the MSR pocket rocket. Ugh. See? Now, you want, like I said, you don't want to carry this in your pack or stow it as with this. You always want to make sure these two are disconnected for the simple fact that you don't want to make, you want to make sure that there is no, okay. Okay, well, I'm not going to mess with it right now. You guys get the point. Make sure these two are disconnected before storing and you purged it. So, that's the Covia LPG adapter. Uh, it's a, like I said, it's a supplement. It's a supplementary adapter for one of these Coleman uh, propane canisters. They're, they're everywhere. You know, you see them in grocery stores, hardware stores. Walmart has pallets of them during the summer. They're relatively cheap. You can stock up on them in case of an emergency. I do suggest stocking up on a Coleman two burner propane stove or a white gas stove, but you can get these. They're cheap. Uh, you can buy almost buy two of these for the price of one of those. Like it's it's not a it's not for hiking and backpacking. This little it just totally negates the weight and purpose of having a lightweight backpacking stove. But yes, uh, it's a really handy thing. It's about twenty dollars, I believe, or take on Amazon. Uh, I've used it. I've boiled water, and it's worked really well. Like I said, just be mindful that the this area right here is charged, and stay safe with it and enjoy. It's a good supplement to any kind of emergency kit for a car, home, or boat. Okay, thanks a lot. You have a good day, and this is Mountain Ghost 556, out.